<sighs> Howdy, Grandpa Ron here. And yeah, we just had to make a trip to uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area for a wedding. Uh, I thought I'd share my experiences uh, RVing out there during this coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, we decided to take the RV instead of flying for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is the airline tickets were really expensive because of spring break out there. Uh, hotels were booked up, all that kind of nonsense. So I said, what the heck, it's going to be cheaper to take the RV. Uh, fuel costs are pretty low right now. As a matter of fact, it only cost us $397 in fuel to go from San Diego to Dallas and back. So that was fine. So what was it like? This trip lasted 11 days, uh, which included nine days of driving and two days at the wedding. Because we needed to get out there and get back pretty quick, we stayed at a lot of uh, Walmarts and Cracker Barrels along the way, and that worked out great. It was always easy on, easy off, and we could just keep going. Yeah, we didn't uh, spend too much time sightseeing, but we did stop at Saguaro National Park uh, near Tucson, and so that was pretty cool. The fridge is not really that big, so we really have to uh, stop and get some fresh produce every few days. So, yeah, the Walmarts have everything you might possibly need. Uh, I even picked up some Def because I like him on coming back on that. So, uh, yeah, that all worked out great. We left home on uh, March 8th. At that time, the coronavirus was uh, just getting started in China. But there really wasn't much going on in California here or United States. Uh, some of the experts were predicting that there, we might have to have a lockdown to kind of eradicate it. But uh, anyway, the news was kind of like mixed. Uh, some people were making jokes about it and claiming it was just like the flu, so why the heck are you getting worried about it? But uh, yeah, I guess I would side with the health experts because they turn out to be more correct than the jokers that you see online. Truth is, there just wasn't a lot known about the virus at that time, uh, just a lot of speculations. So the trip started out pretty normal. Uh, a lot of times we do have some RV issue along the trip that you have to deal with. So in our case, uh, yeah, I started out and the first night went to put out the slide and the front slide motor would not go. The back one started moving okay, but uh, I couldn't get the super slide out. So after trying a few times, I gave up on it. But actually on the way home, I noticed that the uh, front edge of the slide was sticking out about an inch. So. Yeah, so I tried pulling that in and it actually came in. So anyway, yeah, so we tried to extend the slide and it went all the way out and said, all right, there's a lot of extra room tonight. This morning, yeah, it wouldn't go back in again. So I was getting a little worried. However, after a quick prayer and some violent shaking on the stupid slide, yeah, it did start to come back in. So we got it all in and just left it that way. I didn't want to touch it until I got home because uh, who knows? It could be the motor, it could be the controller. I'm not going to mess with that on the road. So anyway, we got to uh, Fort Worth on the fifth day of traveling, which was uh, March 13th. Okay. Here, but it's raining like crazy. They were going to have a classic car show the next day. Um, anyway, yeah, it was pretty cool. I could hear the sweet rumble of those uh, classic V8s as they were arriving at the hotel. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Well, the rain was not the only problem. Yeah, the city of Fort Worth declared a uh, public emergency and they canceled the car show. So, uh, yeah, after that, I started washing my hands a lot more. And happier news, the wedding was great. It was always good to see uh, family, especially ones that live far away, and you don't get to see them too much. So that was pretty cool. The hotel was pretty much empty because of the canceled car show. So anyway, it was a pretty quiet time. Yeah, killing a little time before the wedding. What better way than have a beef brisket at Bucky's? You're, you're asking us to please eat more chicken, and we're opening up chick fil restaurants uh, all across the country. Some of the people couldn't come to the wedding because of the virus. I have a niece who works for the CDC, so she was called into work on an emergency basis. So anyway, she couldn't come. It was really nice to see some of the kids. The next day, we gathered at the uh, local Olive Garden uh, for lunch before we headed home. It was a Sunday morning, and uh, most of the church services had been canceled by the city. The restaurant was pretty deserted as people decided just uh, not to go out at all. So we hit the road uh, coming back home uh, just as the fuel prices were starting to go down. Yeah, I noticed uh, normal crowds in Walmarts, uh, but some of the shelves were, were bare, especially the cleaning products and paper products. And as we traveled home, the news got progressively worse. Yeah, we're in Walmart and uh, you've just seen the shelves so empty before. So 
you must be stocking up on something. This is just uh, canned items, but there's none here. The pickled pig's feet are flying off the shelves. Only a few left. Plenty of candy on the shelves, but not so much for the canned goods. Yeah. We did pick up some extra canned goods and uh, such in El Paso. Picking up some uh, yogurt. Because it seemed like uh, back home things were getting progressively worse. In San Diego, there were several confirmed uh, COVID-19 cases. Looked like it was getting worse every day. It got real windy uh, driving through New Mexico. Yeah, it seems like it's always windy there. But anyway, uh, my ESP light came on and I lost the cruise control and like, oh dang it. Yeah, that's happened a few other times on other trips, but it's really annoying. I really like using the cruise control. So anyway, had to deal with that. Uh, I even tried turning off the engine back on again, but it didn't seem to reset it. But it did reset the next day, so maybe I had to leave it off for a little bit longer. I don't know what the Winnebago engineers were thinking of when they designed that, but yeah, it's a real pain in the butt. We don't usually go to RV parks, but uh, in Benson, Arizona, we did stop at a local RV park. Yeah, we did some laundry, dumped the tank. Life was pretty normal there in the park. Uh, yeah, people were pretty laid back and nothing really much was happening. Yeah, it looked kind of boring actually. But uh, anyway, next day we got up early, left at 6.30 in the morning, drove the 465 miles back home. Now that we're back home, yeah, things seem to be continuing uh, to get we worse. We are directing that all bars, nightclubs, wineries, brew pubs, and the like uh, be closed in the state of California. The governor asked everyone to stay home except for essential services. Yeah, you can still go out to the grocery stores and uh, medical needs and that kind of stuff, but pretty much uh, most work is canceled. In conclusion, this uh, coronavirus didn't really affect our RV trip very much. You know, all the gas stations are open. Uh, you could stop at the uh, restaurants. Uh, some of them you can only do takeout. Well, I got a Starbucks coffee, but uh, as you can see in the store, it's not very busy. Actually, they didn't even put the chairs out for anymore, all because of this virus scare. So, anyway, but good to go. As this gets worse, uh, travel is definitely not recommended. Back here at home, I can see that people are out uh, jogging, running, biking. Morning. Enjoying some outside activities uh, pretty much by themselves, So Yeah, there's no organized uh, events or things you can go to. Never seen the Silver Strand so deserted here with a cruise ship offshore. Can't even go to a restaurant unless it's takeout. Even the schools are closed for spring break and yeah, they probably won't open again until further notice. Traffic on the roads looks normal, but yeah, life is definitely not normal. This is unusual circumstances. But the important thing is don't panic, uh, stay home, get your groceries when you need them, get takeout if you wanna do that. In the meantime, use common sense practices you know, washing your hands frequently uh, with soap and water. You don't really need sanitizer, soap and water works fine. Yeah, they say to do it for 20 seconds, but yeah, I can't do it that long. But anyway, it still cleans them up pretty much, so I think I'm gonna be okay. And don't waste any of that toilet paper you've been sitting on. This is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road. Be safe, and I'll talk to you later.